welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaki, and today we are going to be talking about beauty trash. We're going to be going through all of my empties from the last few months, talking about why I've tried the things that I've tried, whether I liked them, whether I would repurchase them, whether I've already repurchased them. We have a lot to get through today, but first I want to go ahead and remind you guys there are a ton of you out there who are watching these videos every single day and you are not subscribed, so if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I am posting five days a week and I wouldn't want you guys to miss anything, so make sure that you go ahead and get subscribed if you are not already. And without further ado, let's get into the empties. All right, so I've got this giant box. This is my dirty lemon box, actually. I'm being a good girl and drinking my collagen. Let's jump right in here. Gotta set this bad boy down. Ah. All right, first we have a hair product. This is the Kenra Volume Spray number 25, and it has my hair stuck to it all over the place. This thing is enormous because this is my go-to hairspray. I am diehard for this stuff. It is a level 25 hold, which is their strongest hold formula. And I recently got a sample of one that's supposed to be alcohol-free and have a similar level of hold, and so I'm gonna try that one out and see, but I think pretty much anything would have a hard time coming up against this. This is a 12-time winner favorite hairspray 2016. Again, 12 times they win every single year. This is the best hairspray for any Thing. The best thing about this formula is that if you use it and then you don't like what happened, if you let it dry, you can just comb it right back out. It doesn't do any of that weird stuff that's unforgiving, where it's like if you spray it in there and then you comb through, it just starts breaking off in your hands. It's a very, very gentle formula for the amount of hold that it has. All right, next, and this is not completely empty, but I am fully over it. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel Body Wash from Bath & Body Works. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, you know this is my favorite fragrance from Bath & Body Works. But what did they do? They changed it in 2017. I know because I stocked up so much at the end of the holiday season from the year before that I still had lotion left over from the previous holiday season and I'm so obsessed with that smell. I'm so familiar with it. I love the fragrance because it smells exactly like that white dipping chocolate that you melt down and you dip your pretzels in to make really yummy treats and things like that. It's called almond bark. It's just like the white chocolate that you put on pretzels. That smell is just so distinct and they threw something weird in it this year. I have the lotion and I have this and I bought them and when I got them home I was so excited because this is just my go-to holiday fragrance and it's not right. It is not right. Something in there, it's like minty and fruity and weird. They threw something weird in there. Why are you gonna fix what ain't broke? Leave Vanilla Bean Noel alone. I'm taking this one personally. <laughs> I'm pissed. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This is actually one of two empties that I have right now and I intend to repurchase again. This is a formula that works really well for blondes, but also I think that if you were to let it kind of sit in your hair for a little while and then comb back through it, it will kind of lose the white cast, but I, I do prefer this more for blondes than for someone who has darker hair, or even when I have my roots like this, it helps to disguise my roots. I'm not sure this is necessarily for everybody, but I do really, really love this formula, and for those of you out there who do have cosmetology licenses, they are starting to sell these at the RDA Pro Marts in Texas and probably other places, so you don't have to pay the Sephora prices for them. So, hell yeah, Amika. I can't use their shampoos and conditioners because they have wheat in them, but for those of you who can, their shampoos and conditioners are awesome too. Next, this is a die-hard product for me that no matter what I use, as a leave-in when I get out of the shower, I always end up coming back to this. This is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. This product has been around for at least 15 years. I mean, it is just a classic Redken product, and what it does is it balances your lipids, which is moisturizing for your hair, and your proteins, which is strengthening for your hair, because if you do too much of one, your hair will stretch, and if you do too much of the other, your hair will get brittle. This has intelligence built in that helps to balance those two things out in your hair. It's fantastic because not only does it have a lightweight formula, but if I use something like It's a 10, which I do love the results of, it breaks my neck out. It's just too much. It's like my, my skin just can't take that much overwhelming moisture. And so this has this super lightweight formula that you don't really feel on your hair. Plus, I say this every time, it smells like love. I don't understand what the smell is. It's like, kind of like vanilla, but it's also a little bit floral. It is delightful without being overbearing at all. I actually don't love the fragrances of most Redken products. I think most of their choices are really strange, but this smells incredible. Oh, it's a sad day, you guys. My manicure 
is done. I've used all four of these and I am not the person like Tati who actually follows the instructions and uses like two a week and just sees how it goes. I'm not made out of money. This is a $110 pack of four facial-esque masks that make you look like you have been shrink wrapped by some kind of zombie lord when you use it. But the results are incredible. I will use this before my wedding. I will definitely be repurchasing this. I highly recommend this. If you see the ads on Instagram and stuff like that, they're like, oh, does this viral mask really work? Yeah, it really does work. It's really fantastic and I love it. So I'm sad that I'm out of it, but I'm going to definitely repurchase it. Okay, next, this is my go-to cleanser. This is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser Conditioning Face Wash. If you guys haven't used this stuff, it's absolutely incredible. What I love about this is that you can put it right on a dry face. You can work all of your makeup off, but it's not oily. And then it rinses so clean without being dry and kind of tight and squeaky feeling. It is so nourishing and it is so balancing. I never talked to anybody who used this who had a bad thing to say about it, other than the fact that, of course, it's not going to remove waterproof products, waterproof eye makeup, especially mascara. Fortunately, I wear what's called tubing mascara, so it comes off with warm water with no residue. I'm just gonna hit that box. So I never have to really worry about that to begin with. This really does take all of my makeup off and then I will use a toner or something like that to get any remnants. But this guy is dry as a bone. I got done with it and then, you know, used the pump to still kind of scrape some out of there. And I've already repurchased this. I think it is fantastic and it comes as part of the phase one set. If there are other products that you want to try from Glossier, it comes with a moisturizer and the balm.com for your lips and cuticles and whatever ails you. I think that they've even lowered the price to that to like $40 for all three of those products, which is insane. So I do have a code for 20% off at Glossier. I am a rep with them, full disclosure. So I will stick that link below if you want 20% off at Glossier. All right, a Glossier product that I will not be repurchasing that I am not a big fan of. This is the Glossier Super Pure Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. I just didn't notice a difference with this. I use tons of serums and this one just didn't really do it for me. It's kind of watery. And I haven't tried the other two of their serum pack, but I do intend to. I like to be at least credible in all of their products. But this one is meant to clear up your breakouts, and I saw pretty much no difference. I would not recommend this product. I won't be repurchasing it. There's just a lot of other really good stuff out there, things that I've written all in them. They tend to just agree with my skin better. I really love pretty much anything from Paula's Choice. I love, love, love the Resist serum for keeping my skin clear and then also there is a product that I have secretly been using for my acne that is a miracle and I will be able to share it with you guys very shortly. I will let you know as soon as I possibly can get permission to do so. Hey guys, Future Khaki here and I am happy to be able to announce that the Glossier Solution Exfoliating Skin Perfector is actually now out and available for purchase. I was lucky enough to be part of the test group so I have been trying it since November and I can say it has absolutely changed the entire nature of my acne and my skin so I will leave a link below to check the product out but I am so 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 excited to be able to actually finally talk about it but it is a game changer, I promise you. All right, now I have two moisturizers from Dr. Jart. So the first one is the Ultimate Hydro Gel Water Fuse. This is a really great summer weight moisturizer. It's got that K-Beauty texture that we've all become accustomed to that's very just water feeling, not, not a serum, not a cream, it's like water on your face. So it's got this like, almost like a gel consistency and then it just goes right down into just being wet. It, it soaks into your skin super quickly. It gives you that really nice kind of K-beauty glow. I did go through this really quickly because I find that my skin just drinks it up really quickly. It's a fantastic product, especially if you're prone to breakouts, but I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it just because a little doesn't go a long way. I can just sit there and put it on and put it on and put it on. My skin needs a little bit more hydration than that. Which brings me to the other one. This is probably my fourth tube of this. It comes with this little key so that you can make sure that you get every last bit of it out. And this is the Dr. Jart Ceramidin. I'll show you guys. This is a far, there's a tiny bit left in here. This is a far more nourishing formula. It's just, you know, not necessarily superior one way or the other, but it's just for a different skin type or different needs that you might have. This is just this incredibly thick, nourishing, layer of moisture. 
that goes on your skin and it really feels like you're locking it in. It feels like any moisture that's underneath it is going to stay there. It leaves this really wonderful silky texture behind. If you're looking for something that has nourishing oils in it, you've got winter skin and you really want something to make a difference because your skin just drinks everything up, then the Dr. Jark Ceramidin is absolutely incredible. Plus, it doesn't have a fragrance, it just smells like the ingredients. It's kind of medicinal, it smells kind of minty and herbal. So I probably will go and buy another one of these today. I'm, I'm that addicted to this stuff. It is so fantastic, especially this time of year. Okay, and a hair product. I think I might do a video soon where I kind of show you guys how I get that volumized look to my hair that you see in some of my videos because I really have five hairs on my head. It is so thin. This is my little bun. It is so tiny and I can't really fluff my hair out and kind of trick people into thinking I have a lot more of it and I can get a lot of cool styles out of it and most of that volume has this product to thank. This is the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play Light. I am currently still using up a little canister of the regular powder play and it is a little bit more heavy duty, so I do have to be a lot more careful with it. I prefer this one. I prefer it not just because it is lightweight, but also because it has this really fantastic delivery system where you actually puff it like that. Oh, hey, you decided to have a little more in you. I've been trying to use you for weeks. This is a soft volumizing and texturizing powder. Like I said, it's a lot more forgiving. It has a very easy delivery system as opposed to the one where you literally just sprinkle it on top of your head and if you get too much, you done? That's it. There's no going back. This is so, so easy to use. So I will definitely be repurchasing this as soon as I get done using my other product. I just have a conscience about that kind of stuff. I can't just let a product that I like, even if it's not ideal, I do still want to finish a hair product. I don't know why. Okay, this is the Nevo Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo by Provana. The reason that I initially bought this is, like I said, a lot, like a surprising amount of shampoos and conditioners on the market, especially the professional market, have wheat in them. They have wheat protein extract, which is gluten in them, and they make my psoriasis go crazy on my scalp. So I bought this because it is actually certified gluten-free. It is an all natural shampoo, and I really like it. It is a great shampoo. It doesn't do anything particularly crazy, but it's lightweight, it's volumizing, it does a great job of getting my hair clean. And I'm always trying new hair products and new shampoos and conditioners and things like that. So when something doesn't work out for me, I always have one of these on standby. So I don't necessarily buy them all the time, but this is my like basic go back to center kind of shampoo. So yeah, I really, really like this stuff. I just finished these bad boys. These are my function of beauty shampoo and conditioner, or should I say function of khaki or a function of fuckery, if you guys watched that video. Did I love these? I really did. I found that the shampoo ended up being a little bit drying over time and it's probably because I was too lazy to shake it because it does tell you to shake it before you use it because it is natural. So that's probably on me. I have repurchased. I got them in turquoise and I did get a slightly more nourishing, more hydrating formula this time. So I will let you guys know how that goes. I do really love the customization of these products. I really do appreciate how elegant the entire process is and how you can really go in and tweak things after the fact. I did get a different fragrance this time as well. If you guys watched that last video, I'll link it somewhere around here. And I do have, I think, a $5 off uh, affiliate code for this guy. Um, so there will be a link for that down below in case you guys are interested. So that is it for my empties. It doesn't really seem like much, or maybe we zoomed through them really quickly. But it's just not that often that I finish something. I'm testing stuff so often that I don't usually like empty something unless I really like it. So that's why the majority of these I have and will repurchase. So if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I super appreciate that. If you guys want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, please hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. And let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see from me, what kind of things you might want me to test coming up, anything cool that you've seen on your social media feeds or anything like that. That's how I found out about Function of Beauty was from one of my viewers. So thank you guys as always for that. And thank you for watching. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great week and I will talk to you as soon as possible. Bye.